Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Li Chen. Today, I'm going to introduce to you our CVPR work, a joint speaker listener reinforcer model for referring expressions. Here are four authors. We are from UNC Chapel Hill. A referring expression is how people use human language to identify a particular person or object in an image. For example, here, to refer this horse, we could say white horse on the left. To refer that horse, we could say right horse directly. In referring expressions, there are typically two tasks. The first task is expression generation. Given an image and a target object, we ask computer to generate a meaningful referring expressions. The second task is expression comprehension. Given an image with an expression, we ask computer which object is the sentence describing. Then we check if the predicted bounding box has high overlap with the ground truth one. Corresponding to the two tasks, a speaker and the listener are typically considered to formulate the two problems, where the speaker is used for generation and the listener is used for comprehension. However, most of the previous work addressed the two tasks separately. In this paper, we propose a unified framework of speaker and the listener. For example, in generation side, a good speaker should consider if the listener could comprehend his or her sentence by clicking back to the target object. And similarly, for the comprehension side, a good listener should be able to choose, select the best object that's being described by the speaker. Our full model is composed of three modules, speaker, listener, and reinforcer. During training, the speaker and the listener are being trained jointly so that the two parts are aware of each other's behavior. Additionally, the speaker also benefits from the reinforcer, which guides it to generate more discriminative expressions. Specifically, for the speaker module, we use our previous work to extract the visual comparison features, then use CN to LSTM framework as the model. And in the listener, we use LSTM to encode the input expression, then embed both visual and language features into a common space. During training, we sample two contrastive triplets to learn the embedding loss. And a note, we share the parameters of the listener's visual representation and word embedding with the speaker so that the two modules are aware of each other. Our third module, Reinforcer, is applied on top of the speaker. It serves as another supervision, but in a non-differentiable way. During training, we sample the whole sentence from the speaker and feed that into Reinforcer to get the reward. Then we apply policy gradient to update the speaker's parameters based on the reward value. So the key here is how we define the reward function. We learn a matching function for any given pair of object and sentence, which measures how likely is the sampled sentence describing the referred object. Finally, at the inference time, the speaker and the listener will be used jointly for both comprehension and generation tasks. The results show that our model is able to achieve better performance than the other methods by a clear margin on both tasks. Here are two expression comprehension results using our model. Our model is able to understand the location phrase like left half orange precisely. It also understands the details very well like man holding pumpkin. Here are two expression generation results using our model. We can tell how these generated expressions differ with each other, and actually, all of them are referring things correctly. That's all for our spotlight. Thank you for your attention. And for more details, you will come to our poster. Thanks.